do, 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 do. We're live! Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! And welcome to the Coscast episode 35. This is the We Wish You a Merry Cosplay Christmas episode, uh, which also happens to be the last episode of this season. No! Uh, no, this is so sad. But uh, have no fear, we are planning to return next season after New Year's uh, in January at some point. And uh, maybe there will be some things happening on their page sometime. In between. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We won't go, you know, we won't go all black and fade out into nothing. We promise. Uh, yeah. So this is a Christmas episode. So that's why we have dressed up for the theme. I'm wearing my uh, handmade uh, n Christmas gnome hat. And uh, Annabella, you're wearing what? It's my Darth Vader Christmas sweater, which says, I find your lack of cheer disturbing. <laughs> and Annie Elsiage is wearing her sexy blood elf attire. Christmas blood elf. Of course. Red, you know. Red yes. blood elves wear yes. a lot of red clothes. Yes, they do. <laughs> ah, very nice. It's elves kind of... in general are kind of Christmassy. Yeah. Well, yes, only they tend to be shorter and uh, merrier than your typical blood elf. Ooh. Ah, wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> ah, potato, potato. Um, also, I'm very glad to inform our viewers that uh, the online chat on YouTube is functioning again this week. Yes. So you can send in your questions and your comments just like normal. So that'll be good, yes. So if you have any questions or comments, please send them in. We would be happy to answer them or read them out loud. This is true. Yes. Do it. Yes. So the plan today is that we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Christmas, Christmassy stuff, uh, a little bit about the highlights of this year or the season, wh what were our favorite parts and so on. Um, we're also going to talk a little bit about we're pl what we're planning to do for next season, just, you know, to give you guys a little bit of a hint. And we'll also be opening presents! Ah, presents! Just because we won't be able to see each other until after Christmas, and we all gave each other presents, and we thought it would be really, really nice to share the unwrapping moment with you guys. <laughs> uh, so this could be totally freaking awkward or totally freaking <laughs> awesome. We don't know. Prepare to get really, really embarrassed, both of you. Oh. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you give me? <laughs> <laughs> but before we do, uh, let us move on to our regular segments. Uh, the first one is cosplay progress. Have we done anything cosplay related this week? Well, we had a cos cast Christmas dinner yesterday, so that was kind of cosplay related, wasn't well, it? Well, yeah, so it kind of was. Uh, we had decided our first and maybe possibly only annual Christmas dinner party thing that we possibly celebrated together. Only? No, yeah, no. We'll, do it to, we'll do it again next year. Of course. Definitely. It and was, the cos cast yeah. summer party, the cos cast autumn party, Halloween party, <laughs> everything. Easter party, everything. Party. Life is a party when you're a cos cast girl. Yes. <laughs> <Hey. So>. <laughs> <laughs> I figured we could share some pictures from yesterday. I didn't get to take a lot of pictures, but I took some. So this is our table. And I unlocked an achievement yesterday. I learned how to fold those beautiful white paper napkin roses. So I yay for it me. Was like lotus flowers, lilies, yeah. or something. <laughs> okay, we all think it's a different flower. <laughs> it, it's a thing. Okay, it's a flower. Yeah, it's probably a lotus flower. Thank anyway, you. Anyway, I learned how to do it. Yay for me. <laughs> uh, and this is all of you guys playing Mario Kart on uh, Tonya or Anyosia's uh, Wii. Uh, As you can we see, were... there are four people in this picture. Two of them are the boyfriends. Yes, or my husband and Tonya's boyfriend. And uh, Annabella's uh, boyfriend couldn't make it, sadly, but he, he, he would have been he there exists. if he could. I, I, I promise you, he exists. Yes, he's not fictional. Well. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so some more Mario Kart. And uh, Annabella was not the, the pretty princess. That was Tonya's boyfriend. Uh, Annabella was Iggy, the flower-shaped uh, turtle thing. With the pink. <laughs> With the pink car. Uh, here is the dinner. We had the ribbe and uh, mashed potato no, potatoes and yeah, lots of good stuff. And I <laughs> made chocolate fondant for dessert with ice cream and it was delicious. 
Yes. It was all very delicious. Yes. I ate one today. <laughs> yeah, because I left uh, the, the leftovers with you. Yes. <laughs> so that's pretty much what we did. And it was a very good time. We sat talking and, yeah, it was, well, we need to do it again. Definitely. Yeah, you should all go uh, watch the video of uh, Anyasia trying it. To open a bottle of kava or yeah. prosecco. Yeah. No, she was struggling a lot with that one. <laughs> you can uh, find it on Instagram. It's all yeah. over the internet. <laughs> but luckily, uh, he didn't. She didn't get to film all of it because I was struggling for like five minutes before. The yeah, film. I know. That's <laughs> when the camera came from. <laughs> uh, Pixie as were like, oh, oh, I need to film this. I need to film this. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Tanya were like, ah, trying to open it. What uh, work? And then finally, yeah. yeah. It was a race. <laughs> a race for time. <laughs> okay, so that was cosplay progress. So we haven't really made anything, but we had a lot of cosplay related fun. Uh, so what about cosplay news? Do we have any news for the viewers? Yeah. Uh, if uh, anybody out there doesn't follow Cosplay Norway, you should because they are promoting a new cosplayer every day now in mm. December. So it's they have this advent calendar thingy where they present a new cosplayer every day. It's really good. Mm. So you, get, you might discover someone you don't know uh, already, or you might to get you might get to see something awesome that someone you all know has already made. This and is yes, so a lot of our uh, former guests and cosplay friends have been uh, have been featured already, and it's super cool. I'm really excited for the rest of the yeah. counting until the 24th. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, beyond that, I don't think we really have that much news because, you know, December is kind of a low time for cosplayers. There are no conventions and very little things happening. People are taking a break or just working really hard on their um, on their projects. Which you have we this uh, Torikon Yul thing? Oh, yeah. I, What's that about? I don't really know. I haven't really checked it out. I just uh, know that there's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing. And also, yes, Arthacon uh, released their tickets uh, the 1st of December. So if you haven't already bought a ticket, you should probably hurry up and do so because there are only 300 tickets total. So I, they'll, they'll probably sell out before March. The Twitter Yule thing is uh, at the 29th of December. Mm -hmm. uh, my Facebook here is really slow, so I just <laughs> when I yeah I'm just trying to find the event because it is an event. Um, but until then, uh, I have also checked uh, that Yayohan is selling a calendar for 2016 with a new picture for every month mm -hmm. in cosplay, and it looks really nice. Yeah, it would probably uh, be an awesome gift to give to a cosplay friend. Yes. Mm. She just started selling them. Yeah, she just released the 2016 calendar. Uh, but I think she's been doing the calendar thing for a couple of years, so it's uh, like a a thing she does, a running gag, which is very cool. I don't really know about any other cosplayer who releases their own calendar. There, there probably are some, but I don't know of any. Um, but I think that's all we had for cosplay news. So let's move yeah. on to our main topic, which is Christmas. It is. Uh, by the way, I just found some information about Toru Yul. If, if yes, I okay. can share it. Go ahead. It's an event that's really low key and just to uh, get people to have a break from all the Christmas foods and stuff that always make you full and family and stuff like that. So they have a low key. Uh, cosplay competition and they're gonna have a Christmas quiz and also um, some Christmas quests of some sort. Hmm. So for all of you guys living in Trondheim this is something you should probably uh, consider participating in. Yeah and they only have the room for 130 guests so you should get your tickets. <laughs> yeah. Now. And Torakon is in generally a high quality event, so if you 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 know if you're in the area, you should probably go. Yeah, it's a lot looks of fun. Like fun. It looks really like a lot of fun. Yes. Okay. So let's move on. Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, personally, I love Christmas. I know that a lot of people aren't as excited about it as I am, but um, I think all of us like Christmas a lot. Yep. Especially if it's white snow and. 
all the magic about Christmas, making like stuff, making your own decorations, making your own uh, cookies, Christmas sand, presents, presents and dinners, family, friends, you know, mm. the whole shebang. The whole shebang, the whole merry <laughs> shebang. Yes. <laughs> uh, now I thought we could start the episode by sharing some of our favorite Christmas themed cosplays uh, with the audience and if you guys have anything, any comments about them or any Christmas cosplays you like that you want to share you can share it over at YouTube on our internet chat. You can also send us a link of a picture of that cosplay and we can show yeah. it. Totally. Uh, so I'll just put on the screen share thingy. Let's see. There we go. So this first one is, oh, I love it so much. This is Hereza Tai cosplay in her Harley Quinn Christmas shoot, which they I, did this year. I love the use of the Christmas hats. Yes. It's ingenious. She just put it over her existing hat, and it's, yeah. It's really cute. Yeah, it's a very cute and evilness. <laughs> I think it's really cool when you just take a character and that already exists and just, you know, make it into into a, a Christmas character like this. Mm. So this is a shoot that she had with Superhero Girl uh, who's po cosplays Poison Ivy and I think we have a picture of her in here somewhere too. Uh, but a shout out to Hidesa Tai and Superhero Girl and the photographer which is J.A.J. I think um, who you know took the initiative to do this and also made videos so you should check out their cosplay pages because it's a lot of fun. Uh, this is me. <laughs> this is a uh, my third or second cosplay ever, which was a, a Christmas gnome that I did, uh, yeah, last winter. So I it knitted the the hat and the gloves. It looks like a character from you know the old Norwegian children series that used to go at Christmas before, called like, Amalia's Jul. Yeah, it sort of does. That was my inspiration. Uh, so I'm wearing the same hat today uh, that I made last year. So. At least it didn't fall apart. <laughs> but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. It was freezing outside, though, so the whole entire time I was like, oh, take the picture, take the picture. And also, a thing that's really fun about this cosplay is that you can use other cosplays. Like, this is the shirt that you used yes. for your Ariel. Yes, it's the silk blouse that I made for my Ariel cosplay. And, uh, like, the hood cape thing is uh, something my mother knitted to me. Uh, some time ago, and the vest is something I inherited from her, and the rest is closet cosplay, basically. So, so it's a nice way to be thrifty and uh, environmentally friendly. Yeah, I love that. And this is Superhero Girl in her Poison Ivy cosplay. Naughty is the new nice, XOXO Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> this is edited by Hidesa Type. Um... I think it's like it's just really cute and really charming and a fun idea for a shoot. It is. I think that she's like holding a wreath. Kind of. I think next year when we all have done our links, we should do a uh, link Christmas special picture shoot thing. Yes. <laughs> that would have been so fun with some horses and snow and stuff like that. Yeah. Definitely. Yep. We should try to get make that happen. It sounds too awesome to not happen. Uh, I know, I know. I'm a genie. Yeah. And this <laughs> is Tina Maieris in her Candy Cane Misfortune cosplay, which is a very, very <coughs> sexy cosplay, I would say. From this is from League of Legends. For those who are not familiar with um, the fandom, I'm not. So I just thought it was like a naughty Santa Claus girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And this, uh, I think this picture is taken by Rowell Leandro or something like that. Or uh, I'm not entirely sure about the credits, but uh, I think that's the thing. It says also, uh, no, Futu Shelda. So that's uh, where it's from. So there we go. And that was, I think, yeah, that was all the Christmas cosplays I had for the I moment. have one that I sent you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a Nightmare Before Christmas uh, thing, yes. but uh, unfortunately I uh, didn't make it into the folder, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I can try to, to find it later and show it to people. Mm. Uh, so, based on these Christmas uh, cosplays, let's talk a little bit about if you could Christmas-ify 
uh, one of your previous cosplays, which one would that be, and how would you do it? I would say that the easiest uh, easiest Christmas cosplay for me would be to do Belle, but then I probably would make the the red snow outside thingy for her. But the one with the cape with the fur and everything. Yeah, yeah, because that kind of looks like Christmas, and yeah, you can do that Christmas with story. So. Yeah, and, and you can do that with, like, pose with somebody just as the Santa Claus, because that would be cool. Uh, yeah. Or maybe, just for fun, I would do Samara from The Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says Christmas like, you know, a cursed dead child. I know. <laughs> <laughs> or you could do a Christmas shoot with your pug. Yeah. <laughs> you totally should, if you can get him to behave, that is. Oh, yeah, yeah, you just put some chicken in front of him and everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> then he can do a lot of tricks. He knows how to roll roll over and play dead and stay and stay, stand, turn around and dance. Well, there you go. You've got a shoot already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, put a Christmas hat on him and you're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. He has a, he, ha he actually has a Christmas suit for dogs. Aww. <laughs> he has been wearing that for Christmas uh, some years now. <laughs> good for him. Yeah, it's not gaining gaining weight during Christmas time, at least. Oh uh, well, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> How about you, Anios? Yeah, which cosplay would you Christmas Eve buy? Uh, I mean, I'm I've been thinking uh, a lot about uh, remaking Merida, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, it would be quite fun to Christmas Eve. Uh, Merida, perhaps, uh, just like add some uh, fur to a cloak and mittens and a scarf, perhaps. Mm. Easy, I guess. Or yeah. yeah, I don't know. Make her a hat or something. That could work, definitely. Mm. And just pose in the snow. Yeah. Mm. May maybe make some red uh, cloak mm. with. White fur or something. I don't know. Then you should do a photo shoot with like snowmen and having a snow fight or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like throwing also. snowballs. <laughs> like build a snowman, stick a lot of arrows in him, and stand there with the bow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should totally do that. <laughs> but then you, you could have someone dressed as Anna, like, do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're a snowman. Him, <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be Bye. awesome! Disney yeah. Princess Christmas party. Yeah, Disney Disney Princess Christmas food photo shoot. So I'll be Ariel, and there's Belle and Mer Merida, and yeah, that would be super fun. <laughs> I think I need to remake some Ariel stuff though, but yeah. If and if I didn't do Ariel, I think I would probably make a Christmas Sith. Yes. Just because the dark side and Christmas, <laughs> they don't really match, and I think that's very fun. And he's like, I'll give you Christmas spirit. <laughs> how, how can you say they don't really match? I'm just saying they match yeah. perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Obviously, I'm being stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's that. Uh, what about, what's your favorite Christmas movies, girls? I have a few. Mm -hmm. Um I, I, there's a lot of Christmas movies that I really like and that I can watch year after year after year, but my favorite ones have to be Nightmare Before Christmas and uh, and Home Alone, the first movie. Hmm. A lot of people like Home Alone. I love Home Alone. Uh, uh, my favorites are uh, also Nightmare Before Christmas. I really, really love that movie. and But I, uh, also three... Um, also, Tre Nötter till Askepot. So, three acorns for Cinderella, I guess you would uh, translate it with. Uh, it's just a Christmas tradition, and it's such a sweet movie, and the narrator's voice is so ridiculous, because there's <laughs> just one guy that does all the voices, even the female yeah. ones, and they're all high-pitched and squeaky, and it's just fantastic. <laughs> it's awesome. It's, it's awesome. from It's from that movie I learned how to sound like a snobby old woman. Yes. <laughs> Cinderella! You, oh, listen, Cinderella! Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of voice, you know. Yeah, yeah. That kind of tone. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How about you, Anyasia? Yeah, I like that movie. 
uh, quite a lot as well. I would love to maybe one day uh, make that the dress oh, yeah. dress of hers. Oh yeah, that's a gorgeous dress. Yeah. And just ride with that on. I think I would like to make like the huntsman outfit yeah. or the pink one that she wears the ball. Uh, um, I. <laughs> Is there anything you just said? You just completely fell out. I don't know what she said at all. Oh, she know. Gross. Yeah, oh, there's she... something weird going on. I heard yeah. some kind of weird uh, music sound, and then. Just... Yeah, I think that was her trying to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I am music voice. Yes. Oh, now, that, now you're back. What did you yeah, try? Uh, what were you saying? There's another movie. Uh, it's not really a Christmassy movie or anything, but it's some movie I've been watching quite often uh, when it's Christmas and uh, laying in the couch uh, eating uh, rice cream. Mm. Uh, and that's actually Three Musketeers. Oh. The one Which I showed one? you guys. Yeah, the 1993 one. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> You know, you have the different movies that give you your Christmas spirit, and if that's when you love, then go for it. But you confessed something to us right before the show that we were like, what? You have never seen Nightmare Before Christmas. And we were like, how is that possible? I have no idea. I, I, I wow. <laughs> I want to say it. I you just have to. haven't gotten around to it yet. You can buy I, I, mine. There was a there was a time where I used to watch it like once a month for a whole year. I've seen that movie so many times. I know the lines perfectly. I know all the songs. It's and you wrote a school paper about it. Uh, no, 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 no. I did not write a school paper about it. I had um, an English exam about it, and it was not in writing. It was uh, orally. Yeah, orally, yes. Mm. It was perfect. I got the best grade ever. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you definitely have to see it because uh, both me and uh, Annabella have been obsessed with this movie in the past. And yeah, yeah, yeah you, you, you just have to see it. I'm I'm going to see it someday. Yeah. Not sure when though, but yeah, I'm going yeah. to see it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not recommending seeing it with us because we're just gonna sit and stare at you the whole time and be uh, like, and "Did you like that? Did you just sing a lot?" Yeah, well, you know, I, I told you on the Christmas party what I do to people who stare at me when I look at TV. Yes, oh, yeah. Punch them until their nose bleeds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do that to you guys. Don't. So you're all warned don't stare at any Ostia while she's watching TV. It could be uh, dangerous to your health. <laughs> <laughs> at least do not make funny faces at her because then you're, <laughs> you're going to be out cold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, what what else were we going to talk about again? I'm kind of woozy today, so I'm just... Uh, yeah, we were going to talk a little bit about uh, what we've planned for the next season uh, for you guys. And uh, we've been having a lot of fun with the Coscast, uh, but we're thinking about expanding it a little bit. Uh, so, Annabella, do you want to talk about one of the things you're excited about for next season? For next season? Well, yeah. Um, we're gonna do some more, um, we're gonna make other types of videos, challenges, and try out new stuff, and, uh, play games, and we're gonna put videos out of us doing it. Mm. They're kind of like, uh, reaction videos, like if we play scary games, how, how do we react when we play them and when we get scared and stuff like that. And we're going to play Cards Against Humanity. Mm -hmm. And film mm -hmm. it. So you'll get to know how awful, truly awful people we are. Yes. <laughs> On the inside. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, and Yasya, do you have anything that you're uh, looking forward to uh, with next year's season? Yeah, well, I am looking forward to the gaming part. Uh, and, uh, of course, making the reaction movies uh, of us. And... Oh, what else was it? Um... Yeah, I, I'm just looking forward to that we're going to be more active and not yeah. so much like sitting still, talking, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, although this is fun, but, you know, yeah. it's, it's uh, interesting to try new things and uh, broaden our uh, thematic horizon. 
And also, we're going to try to make some uh, workshop videos with us doing stuff. Yeah. yeah. Process pictures and videos of how we make our, our things, our cosplay props and clothes and whatnot. At least we're going to try. That's the big ambition. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're all very, very busy people, but we're hoping to be able to make this work. Um, yep. And uh, I'm also looking very much forward to um, making uh, reviews because we think we thought like once a month we could make a book review or a movie review or a game review and recommend something that we think is really awesome to you guys. So yeah. So and if you have suggestions for things that you want us to try, like uh, let's say you want us to try some strange candy or you want us to try the put on makeup without a mirror challenge or something like that, send it to us and we'll uh, consider it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, also we have... Young. <laughs> and also we had a, a viewer a request that we have on uh, slightly younger cosplayers as guests. And so we were definitely going to try to make that happen during next season. Yep. And also now that we know a lot more people in the cosplay community, it's much easier for us to, to get more uh, people on the show. Hmm, definitely. So it can only grow bigger and better from here, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And oh, yeah. 2016, we're going to take you on. Mm. <laughs> We're gonna ride you like a dragon. Yes. Yeah. Or like a dire wolf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go team Stark. <laughs> uh yeah. Uh but so that was a little bit about next season, but let's jump back to this season. Uh do we have any highlights from this past season that were our favorites? Like do you have a favorite episode or a favorite theme or a favorite guest or anything? I thought it was really, really cool when we actually got to talk to all the NCC, uh, Norwegian NCC uh, uh, contestants. Uh, contestants, thank you. <laughs> uh, because that it, it just kind of was an epiphany for me on what we can manage to do at at this cosscast thing. And yeah. also, I thought it was really fun at Desicon uh, Cosplay in Japan when. Uh, we had a viewer come up to us and say, hey, Coscast girls! And we're like, wow, cool, thanks! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, thanks! <laughs> that was very well. No, yeah, I agree. The NCC episode was really big for me, too, because there were so many guests all at once, and everyone said, yeah, we'll do it. It sounds fun. It sounds cool. There, were, there was, like, no negativity uh, involved in it at all. Yeah. It hasn't been any negativity involved in any of our guests. So, so thank you to all of your you amazing people who have made this thing amazing for us. Yeah, who's actually made it possible for us, <laughs> not to mention. Uh, yeah. Um, I just, I, I really appreciate uh, the interview episodes that we've had throughout the season, that people are, like, willing to, to sit with us for, like, a, a whole hour on a Sunday and just talk about what they do and answer questions. And, yeah, I just... I really appreciate yeah. it that people are willing to do that. And people watching and commenting. That's like the best part when people are actively commenting and talking to us and make, you know, challenging us. That's awesome. I agree. Yes. Do you have anything in particular you want to stress? Uh, any else here? Mm, well, uh, it's pretty much impossible to, like, say, oh, this is my favorite episode and all that. Uh, but. Um, because they've all been so awesome, uh, all the episodes, even those episodes where, like, we had a lot of technical difficulties and all that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there have been some technical um, difficulties throughout the year, let's be honest. The yeah. only episode that didn't work was the special makeup thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, like, I'm time. so happy that does not exist anymore. <laughs> It was just horrible. Oh, goodness. But yeah, I don't know what that was, if it was Google Hangouts or my computer or whatever it was. That episode did not want to happen, but we, we made it eventually. And it was rough. <laughs> it was so rough. Oh. Yeah. It was totally embarrassing, too. It was like, oh, my God, we can't put this out into the world. No, nope. no, no. <laughs> but I think... Probably some of my favorite moments uh, with the cast is whenever we hang out together because 
we talk about so much interesting and fun, and uh, we do silly things. We take pictures and t small uh, uh, shootings, films, and just like, yeah. Hmm. Um, also, we have some comments uh, on the chat. Uh, Cecilia says, hi, I love your podcasts and cosplays, of course. Oh, um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so thank much, you. Cecilia. We really, we're really glad that you do uh, enjoy it. It uh, makes it really, really worth it. It does. And also, do you die art? Says, hi, smiley face. Yeah, so hi, back to you, too. Hi. So it's always nice when people uh, leave us a little comment like that. Yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah. Uh... Yeah, I, I just I think this whole season, this whole year, basically has been pretty much awesome. I don't yeah. regret I don't regret starting this thing, you know. <laughs> no, no, and 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 I think we have uh, come uh, a long way uh, because the cost cast has also um, been like through a really really steep uh, curve upwards thingy. Like the first episodes, they are not as um, you know, on point as the latest ones. <laughs> oh no, no! Of course, the first episodes were a little bit uh, were a bit whacked. <laughs> yeah. But they're still out there, though. So yeah. if, if anyone wants to watch them, then you should. But the first <laughs> eight are in Norwegian, so <laughs> yeah. So that, that's a niche thing, very much yeah. so. Uh, but we're thinking about remaking some of the old ones, so our English-speaking audience will be able to understand what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> And so, uh, Ryuri Art also says, Merry almost Christmas to you all. So, Merry Christmas to you too. Merry almost Christmas to you too. <laughs> <laughs> and Merry cosplay Christmas. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. That, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. So, uh, 2132. Okay. Uh, so, do you guys uh, want to, uh, do you have anything else you want to mention? Or do you want to move on to opening presents, maybe? Oh. <laughs> yes. 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 Let's do presents. Yeah, let's do presents. Okay. This is like, I I feel like I'm going to blush. I'm getting like all warm in the face and like, oh my god, what if they don't like it? Uh, well, if you really don't awkward. like mine, then you can give it back because I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, goes to you guys. <laughs> is there anyone who wants to be the first? Oh, this is always... I don't like being the first. Okay, I can be the first. Okay, you can be the first. Okay, uh, I'll just click on your picture so you're in the in the window. So, there. Mm. All the attention to me? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll open... The first one is from Annabella. Look at that fancy paper. It's a nerdy paper. Yeah, it says GameStop. Yeah. GameStop. Power to players. Yes. And here we go. Because Anna Yasia is a huge Zelda fan, so yeah. that's just totally appropriate. Yes. Okay. It's from the same store where I got this beautiful sweater. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to go last? No, I, I can go in the in the middle okay, now. Okay. Yeah. So I'll open one now. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, you want to do it now? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then you do it now, and I'll be the last one. <laughs> I want to be in the middle. Okay. Then I'll go. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, this is a present from Pixie Dust to me. Okay. Yeah. It... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just really nervous that you might not, you know, think it's cool. I hate it. No. Yeah. It's a box. <laughs> what, 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 what am I going to do with this box? No. Ooh, let's see. It's not something PlayStation. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Have you made them yourself? Yeah, I made them myself. Oh, they're so cute! Look at this cute slipper thingy! My feet is never yeah. gonna be oh. freezing again. So the, those are blue Zelda slippers. They have the, the blue gem that you need to be Blue Link. Oh! Oh! How! Oh! Thank you! Thank you! I love them so much! 
I need to try them on and see if they fit. Yes, do. Please do. <laughs> oh, they are perfect. They fit. I, w I was afraid they might be a little bit too big because you have really small feet. No, they, they are perfect. Yay. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like them. Yes. Okay, I'll start by opening yours then, uh, or the one from you to me. <laughs> I'm not opening your present. That would be really rude. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, while I start uh, like unwrapping, uh, Cecilia Hansen asks if we have any advice for making patterns. Wrap yourself into um, plastic wrap. Plastic, plastic wrap, and, and then, then take paper tape all over that, and, and make someone draw the pattern on your body. Yeah. Tell them what. Tell them what you need to. What you need them to draw, and make them draw it, and then cut it off your body and put it flat on the fabric and you can use that as a pattern and it will fit yeah. you perfectly most of the and time. And you should use uh, needles to stick them, stick the pattern to your fabric when you cut it so it won't slip all over the yes, place. that's a very good idea. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, there are tutorials on how to do this online so if you just search for uh, pattern making with um, plastic wrap or with paper uh, tape you'll probably find it. So that's our advice. That's how we do it. <laughs> yes. I actually made it a top uh, for my Samara dress by myself, home alone. <laughs> but with that, <laughs> oh, you gave me a Darth Vader like uh, apron and uh, cooking mitten. Is that yes, what you made? That is awesome. I love it. Thank you. There's another little thing in that. You need to find uh, not in the jar, but okay, in the paper. Yes. Okay. It fell to the floor. <laughs> and it may have fallen out. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, uh, what is this? Pit it. It's like a it's like a metal cube that's supposed to help me uh, breathe easier <laughs> because I'm always congested in my nose. <laughs> That's so funny. Not, not only that, it also gives you good luck in games because your husband always wins everything. So yeah. now you should bring that with you and make yeah. me win over him. He's a gaming savant. Now maybe I have the magic power to win. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's so funny. And also it might help you with your breathing. Who knows? <laughs> yes, who knows? Fingers crossed. And I'll try anything <laughs> at this point. Um, okay, so let's go back to um, Eniasia. You have one yep. more to open. Yes, I have the one from Pixie Dust. I use my scissors. Ooh. Use your scissors. Effective. Use the force. And then it's the paper. I have an idea what it is. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought that's too. Oh, uh, I knew it! I knew it! Yay! <laughs> they are so awesome. Oh, um, they Tanya are so got awesome. so excited that her screen went black. <laughs> I'm gonna try them. Oh, oh, give Yay. me a second, please. Oh. Wait. Oh. So, uh, both of your slippers have been like uh, knitted. Uh, every day, frantically on the train between Aidswell and Oslo. <laughs> then I think you use your time well. Mm. Yeah, I hate wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> they are beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Um. Oh my God, you're so cute. Yes. Oh, you gotta look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to take pictures of them later and we can post them on our Facebook page. <laughs> yes. Yes, of all the presents. That'll be cool. Um, yeah. Oh, my turn. My turn. Yes, your turn. It's the one from Eniasia and I'm excited because she frantically, uh, in panic, had to pack it in. Because I'm cleaning. <laughs> I can probably use this jar for something. Ooh. I am so excited. Now I have some munches to scrumptious on. Thank you so much. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. yum. I get it back. <laughs> no, you're not getting it back. Forget it. <laughs> We're not giving back chocolate. Serious. No. <laughs> no. Who does that? No. Never going to happen. I'm not sharing. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, then it's my turn again. Uh, and yeah, I'll open the one from Eniosia, because that's the last one left. I like the shiny silvery paper. I like everything that glitters. Pretty much. <laughs> And it's yeah. chocolate! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More chocolate! More chocolate. I'm like a chocolate fairy. We're so we're such nerds. <laughs> Give us chocolate, Star Wars, and Zelda, and we're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. It's awesome. Yeah. Me too. Likewise. Did you make yourself some slippers as well? Uh, not yet, but I'm planning to make myself a pair of green slippers. I just didn't have the time to finish them before now, so... You I probably will. will have, have some time when you're on your Christmas holiday. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, uh, yeah, uh, and Rio Rai Art says, uh, is on a comment, uh, I really want to try to make a character more Christmassy this year. It sounds so fun. So yay! She's in yeah, the that's really That's good. Awesome. Do it and post a picture. Yes. Yes, do it and post a picture. We would love to see your Christmas-inspired cosplay. And we will then share it on our page. Yes. Yes. I can, I can notice that this apron is made for someone slightly taller than me or with bigger boobs because it's, like, down here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have to hike it up a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that with your sewing machine. Yes, I can do that. And also, if you notice, the jar you can use for cookies. Yes, exactly, because it has a lid and everything, so that's awesome. Yeah. I have my own Star Wars cookie jar. And then you will get people to join the dark side. Because we have cookies. <laughs> Terms and conditions apply. <laughs> Yay. Uh, yeah, that was fun and exhausting. And Rio Rai Art says she will, so she she's gonna post her Christmas uh, Christmas cosplay pics. That's cool. Sweet, sweet. <sighs> it's like exhausting <laughs> to open presents live on air. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, let's. Um, I think we can move on to geekery now because we're we've only got like 15 minutes left, and usually we talk like five minutes overtime when we go into geekery anyway. Oh yeah, that that, that happens. That happens. We have a tendency to do that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so have we played or read or watched anything interesting or exciting this past week? I have played a lot of Dragon Age Inquisition. And I'm getting kind of uh, frustrated because when I kind of fuck up, I try to romance that character because I'm like, yeah, hearts, that, that will make them friends with me again. And then they're like, you're in love with someone else. You're, you're, you're not a good person at all. And I'm like, no, oh, no, no, that was not what I meant. No, sorry, no. And there's no option for that. So <laughs> my character just gets hated on. <laughs> no. So your 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 awful social skills translate into gaming as well. Yeah, and and also <laughs> I have a bit problems with like me choosing some some a sentence because I think that they say it in another tone and then they kind of be it be, then the sentence I I tr yeah it's, it's, you think I it's gonna be emphatic like and then it comes off like snobbish or bitchy. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just a bad guy anyway, and I'm like, no, no, I, no. <laughs> I oh. totally read that social situation wrong, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. so. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, no, it's awful. It is. <laughs> but I love the game still, and and when we're done tonight, I'm going to play some more. First dinner, then play some more, and I have watched awfully an awful amount of Judge Judy. <laughs> Which isn't really geekery at all, but <laughs> it's so fun. It is very uh, fun. Uh, I'll give you that. It is. <laughs> uh, um, well, yeah, I haven't really done much besides playing games. Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I've watched uh, the whole season of Jessica Jones. It was very exciting, although I got a little bit tired of the whole um, catch and release chase scene at the end. But Boy. Boy. no. Not gonna say anything more. <laughs> oh, I forgot to uncheck my own picture, so I've been on screen all this time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're just full of yourself. Totally on purpose. 
<laughs> no, I knew sorry. it. I knew it. <laughs> damn oh, you. Damn me. Oh dear. Yes. Uh, yeah. So Jessica Jones and I've been playing uh, The Witcher whenever I have the time, but although that is not a whole lot because I have two exams coming up, so I'm studying and writing like crazy just to be able to finish, and then next this week I'll be working like full time, and yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Yes. Yes. It, life, yes. Is, life is busy. How it about is. you, Anyas? Yeah. Well, I have started watching Jessica Jones, and I told my boys, oh, I'm watching Jessica Jones. <gasps> you need to stop watching. We're going to watch it together. <laughs> All Marvel series are like uh, boyfriend and girlfriend like uh, thing. And I was like, what? Uh, you're so slow. I need to watch everything now. And I, if I'm watching with him, it's like maybe two episodes a week, and it's like, no. You need your fix. <laughs> I cannot do that. And um, um, I've been watching a little bit more Haikyuu, mm -hmm. which I'm also watching with my boyfriend, so it's going slow. <sighs> And uh, still reading that book, but it, now I know what it's called. It's uh, Cleric's Quintet. <laughs> oh, I, I think I read the first book in that uh, series, actually, uh, a few years ago. Yeah, I like it. It's very cool. Um, yeah. I think I'm... We have, like, this very thick book, so I think it's, like, several books in one. Um, I, so I think I've read the first one and just started the second one in that book series. Very exciting. Very, I like the old priesty monkey. I am not monkey, but monkeyish. <laughs> mm. Yeah, no, it's an interesting uh, concept. Um, Ida Hoffman says, "Saw you at Desicon Japan. Was too shy to say hi. Oh. So hi, <laughs> awkward Hello. smile." You should uh, come say hi next time. We're probably too shy to say hi to. Yeah, uh, um, that, was, <laughs> that was my my reply was hi, Ida. It's okay. We're awkward and shy too. Waves awkwardly back. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're if if anyone wants to come say hi to us, we would say hi back totally. Yeah, we're really friendly. We're just really really shy. So if we don't say hi to you, it's not because we're stuck up. It's because we're scared. Yeah, and, and like we talked about, uh, or at least I talked about, was that I always take the wrong social things, so... Socially awkward, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah not living, living Turquoise has a question for us. Uh, what is your favorite Christmas specials of TV shows? And also, Cecilia asks, do you like Doctor Who? If so, are you excited for the Christmas special? And Yasya, I think. Yes, and Yasya like is a big mm -hmm. Who fan. Yeah, I like Doctor Who. Mm. Definitely. Mm. So they're going to be a Christmas special. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> There's always Christmas specials in Doctor Who. Uh, they've been yeah, not for only Doctor time. Who, but also yeah. one of my other favorite series, Supernatural. I love those guys. Mm. Oh yeah, Supernatural. Yes. Mm. yes. Yeah. Um, uh, it's been a long time since I watched a Christmas special, but I've always really appreciated the Christmas specials in The Big Bang Theory, especially the one where uh, Sheldon gets a napkin signed by Leonard Nimoy with his yeah. DNA on it. That was so cute. It's like, Sheldon, what are you doing? I know. It's not enough, is it? <laughs> yeah. I, just, I, I, I love that episode. It's so cute. Yes, me too. Uh, how about you, Annabella? Do you have a Christmas TV show special favorite thing? Uh, well, I, I cannot really... I, I think all like special Christmas specials and Halloween specials and all of those things in shows that I watch are always fun. Yeah. Um, they they kind special. of yeah because they they kind of tend to go a little bit outside of like the normal storyline and make it really exciting and fun and always a little bit like out of line and and I love that. Mm -hmm. uh, like especially when I think about shows like Supernatural and Buffy and all yeah. those kind of action kind of grim series yeah. they tend to make it a little bit lighter but still they don't lose themselves. Oh, grim. Oh. <laughs> Grim, I love that show. Oh, yeah, well, the the people in the chat are really excited about the Doctor Who uh, oh. special because River is returning, Ooh. so they're they're no, really hyped. Song. Huh? 
River Song, uh, the character that's V from Fandomly cosplay. All, all, all. Oh, yes, right. Yes. That's, that'll be interesting. And Ida says, uh, thanks. <laughs> Social <laughs> awkward forever. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're all socially awkward. You're not alone, says Rirai Art. So it's nice. We're all bonding in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> bringing socially awkward people together since 2015. I'm like, internet, high five to you. Yeah. <laughs> You're making my life easy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> or better in so many ways. We should all read uh, Felicia Day's uh, You're Never Weird on the Internet. Yeah, yes. I love Felicia Day. She's awesome. Yes. So if anyone hasn't watched The Guild, then you should, because The Guild oh, yes. is awesome. Just Geek and Sundry. Follow that channel on YouTube in general. They have so many awesome shows there. Uh, especially Tabletop is really good, and The Guild, yes. And also they have this thing called Vaginal Fantasy Hangout, which sounds really bad. But it's, um, it's like a, a talk show where they talk about uh, fantasy or science fiction themed uh, romance books. So if you're into that, that's really funny. And if you're not into that, it's still kind of funny because they get drunk and talk about sexy stuff in books. <laughs> that sounds really <laughs> awkward. <laughs> it's awkward, but we're awkward, so it's fine. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Keep it. Uh, yeah, there's like a whole thing going on in the chat. Thumbs up if you're shy, and I'm trying to find the thumbs up icon, but I can't do that, so... <laughs> I'm doing this. Yes, thumbs up, we're shy. <laughs> Although you wouldn't think it by listening to the way we go on and chat forever and ever on the internet, but... It's <laughs> fine, because we're friends and we talk to each other, there's really not like we don't yeah. see the audience, so... Yes. It, it's a whole different thing, and also the audience tend to be friendly. We know... Yeah. We know our audience, <laughs> sort of, <laughs> kind of. Yes. All right. Uh, have, are, is there anything else we want to talk about, like um, Christmassy stuff or things that we've done this week that are geek-related, cosplay-related? I just mm -hmm. saw that uh, uh, oh, Crix Design put up a video from last year with mm -hmm. herself and her sister, Beth Carnard, uh, doing uh, how to do the Grinch makeup tutorial. <laughs> Oh, very cool. Yes, because they had the Grinch makeup last year. That was their yeah. Christmas special thing. <laughs> it, it, it's kind of, I, I think it's it's like a paradox because, you know, the Grinch and Christmas and <laughs> happy holidays. Yeah. The Grinch. <laughs> but but there is, it is a Christmas movie and a lot of people like you know, the, the Grinch thing and, you know, oh, his heart grows in like two sizes and... And that's really cute until you kind of think that, well, if your heart grew two sizes, you would die. That's a Shelton Cooper thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what That's a Sheldon Cooper thing. I am married to a person who might as well have been Sheldon Cooper, you know, um, but with a sexual side. Yeah. You know? <laughs> he asked us a um, riddle last night. What, my, uh, my hubby? Yes. Okay. What would you do? This is for the viewers. What would you do if your mother tells you, go to the store, buy three bread? If they have milk, buy five. What would you buy? <laughs> yes. So he, he uh, being uh, a, a guy who thinks like a programmer, says, okay, so go to the store, buy two bread. If they have milk, buy five. Then he would buy you five pieces of bread. Whereas, to me, that makes no sense. I would go to the store, buy two pieces of bread, and if they have milk, I would buy five uh, cartons of milk. I, I would have I would have been puzzled by this myself. I would have been like, "What do you mean?" Yeah, it's a weird sentence to be sure. Yes, no one I, speaks I asked, like that. I asked my boyfriend this in the car mm -hmm. last night, and he said, "Well, I, I would have bought five milk and five bread." To be sure. You can always put the rest in the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to the birds. I don't know. <laughs> it's Christmas. Everybody should have something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, Ria Rai tried to send us a Christmassy picture, but it won't work in the chat. But you know what? Send it to us on our Facebook page on the Coscast there, and we'll be able to see it. And uh, yeah. So do that. Do it. Do it now. Do it, it, it. 
so yeah, it's uh, but the riddle. It's something for you guys to think about because uh, programmers apparently think differently than other people. Yes. So it's like and a also, I have one thing though before we have to end this show because mm -hmm. next time we're on, it's going to be a new season, yes. new cosplays, and new stuff happening. So I, I, I'm curious, what are you two guys? A project for next year and next season. Oh yeah, let's talk about that before we go off. Um, Link. Oh yeah. By the way, Ida says I would buy chocolate or cake bread. Pfft, too mainstream. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> buy cake or chocolate. <laughs> I agree too. Soda and chocolate. <laughs> yeah. And Cecilia says I want bread. Pita bread. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you should all watch that. Peter! 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 Yeah, it's real so funny. <laughs> it's just someone made this weird video from the Hunger Games just clipping in Katniss saying Peter, and there's this flying Peter bread coming in in every scene. <laughs> really funny. I haven't seen that. That sounds you amazing. What? No! You have to link it to me seriously. I will. That needs I will. to happen. <laughs> I hope okay. somebody home at home laughed. Yes. <laughs> I hope so too. Yes. <laughs> I hate being the only one. <laughs> uh, okay, but but I can I can see it in my head. I can visualize, so it's still funny. Thumbs up um, for that. But okay, yeah, plans. Any else? Yeah, plans for next year. Cosplays. Definitely gonna make a uh, link, red link. Um. Hello! Yeah. And green! And green, yes. And uh, apparently uh, Annabella has promised that we'll make <laughs> Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> yes, Annabella so. promised Ingrid Beast last week that we would make the Powerpuff Girls. So, I'll be the pink one. What's her name? Blossom! Blossom! Yes, I'll be the what? green one? Belle, blue one. The blue, blue. one, yeah. Blue. And I'm Buttercup, the green one. <laughs> Which is slightly aggressive. Because <laughs> we agreed that since I'm the one who usually talks way too much, I had to be Blossom. Yeah, and since I'm all about unicorns and fantasy, I'm... Bubbles. And I'm the better one, so... <laughs> <laughs> so we go for matching personalities here, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm smiling, but my eyes are not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, but we'll uh, <laughs> have one to be the father. Oh, we need. We oh, need, yeah. we need the the dad. Oh, the my hubby. <laughs> oh, there's my so hubby to do it. To there's so daddy. much. Uh, there's so much on. If, if you're an adult watching the show, there's so many puns in that show for adults. It's it's horrible. <laughs> It's hard. <laughs> oh yeah, now I see uh, Rio Rice, uh a photo. Sure. It's a it's like a, a dress and a Christmas tree, and it's very very pretty and magical. I'll share it. Let's see, like there. There we go. Uh, oh, this is really cute. Who doesn't want to be dressed in a ball gown in front of pretty lights and a magical Christmas tree? Seriously. Like, it gives you Christmas spirit for sure. Wow. Yeah. I want to yeah. do that one day. <laughs> Big ball gown and Christmas trees. Yes. Thank you for sharing, Rhea Rai. That was really sweet Thank of you. you. Uh, yes, so uh, not only will we be making Link, but we will be making some Lord of the Rings themed cosplays. I'm going to try to do Arwen uh, with the, the blue Requiem dress. I'm trying to do Erwin. If yes. I, that's, that's the first thing I'm going to start trying to do. <laughs> so much work. <laughs> scared. Yeah. So scared. So scared. Yes. I, I'm thinking about either a Hobbit girl or I've always wanted to do either Legolas or uh, Elrond or, or uh, Eomir. Badass oh. armored dudes. Yeah. I'm all for <laughs> Legolas. Come on, do <laughs> Legolas. <laughs> um, also, in addition, I think I'll be trying to actually make uh, Morticia, uh, not just as a co closet cosplay, but the proper dress and everything. I want to do a Game of Thrones inspired cosplay. Oh, not yes. inspired, I want to do a Game of Thrones uh, cosplay, finally. I, uh, 
but I'm not, I'm not really sure when I will have the time or who I'm going to cosplay, but I'm thinking of Melisandre. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, you would be a really good Melisandre. Yes, I, I want so. to do her. I want to do her, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, You're I want to do Daenerys. I want to do her. Yes, to do her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that as well. We know that a lot of people want to do her. <laughs> yeah. Now I've been I've been thinking about Sansa or Daenerys. Those are the two ones I really want to do from Game of yeah. Thrones. How about you, Anyasa? I also? like Arya a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I've oh, also been thinking about uh, Arya. She's a she's a really good. Yeah, she's my favorite character. I love her. Definitely. But yeah, you should do it. Yes. 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 Also, uh, Ida says Cersei is Bay. So, <laughs> anyone thought oh, about yeah. Cersei? I've th yeah. I've thought about her. If if uh, if I ever get pregnant, she would be a good like um, uh, pre pre prior Game of Thrones. Uh, cosplay. <laughs> if you ever get pregnant? Yes, then she would be a good cosplay to do if you're pregnant. I don't really get that reference. No, no. <laughs> she's not. No, okay. Oh, well, it's just in my head. It, it would fit in my head. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Ryurai Art wants to know if we're planning to do a Dragon Age cosplay. Oh, I've been thinking about that too. Mm, me but... too. I want to do a, a female Varric. Or Morrigan from Origins. Those are the two I really want to do. Those are really cool. Mm -hmm. How about you? I'm not really sure. I, I have thought about this so many times, but I, I'm not really sure of who I want to do and why. Um, but yes, I, I definitely want to do a Dragon Age cosplay. Yes, at some point. We have to. Also, Fenris would be really cool, but it's like JC's Fenris is so good. I'm kind of intimidated. You shouldn't be intimidated by someone else who's done a character. Then at least you have someone to ask. Yes, um, yeah, that's how true. to make yeah, this. How, to how did you do this? Um, yeah, I know. I kind of feel the same way about Keely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Ingrid Beast did it so well. Yep, and I told her oh, I'm so intimidated because you made such a perfect kill, and she's like, "No, don't be intimidated. Look at my blog and do it." <laughs> yes. She's it's very like, awesome that way. She's very yes. enthusiastic. Very. Yes. So, <laughs> I mean, the chat has just taken on a life of its own by now. It's like Cersei and chocolate drools and. <laughs> And more chocolate and Game of Thrones and Dragon Age and yeah, I love it. It's awesome. Keep it going. Chocolate. It's <laughs> fantastic. Um, yeah, uh, we're over time again. We just we keep doing this to ourselves. Uh, not a surprise. Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, be, just we we have to round it off. So I just want to say. Thank you so much to everyone who's uh, been a guest, who's watched our live streams, who've watched the episodes after, who commented and participated. Without you, we couldn't do this, and it just makes our lives so, so fun, so great. So we're really happy that we can do this. Yep. Yes. Very, very grateful to all of you from all of us. A very merry cosplay Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> and a happy new year. And a happy new year. And we'll see you all next year. So, uh, but in between, if you want to catch up on what we're doing, you can visit us at Coscast. Uh, well, Facebook.com slash Coscast. Or you can find us at Pixie Dust Cosplay, Annabella Cosplay, and Any Yasia Cosplay on Facebook. Yes. And feel free to write us, message us, challenge us, whatever. Uh, we we really appreciate all everything that you do for us. We do. We do. Yes. So see you next season. Awesome. Yes. Bye.